Muscle tension is a common cause of jaw pain and TMJ dysfunction. The main muscles which act over the TMJ are known as the chewing muscles or more technically the muscles of mastication. And they are the masseters, the temporalis and the pterygoids sitting deeper inside the jaw. Let's start with the masseter muscles. Now these main chewing muscles can easily be felt on the outside of the jaw, just at the top of your jawline, at the top of the mandible. They run from that jawline, the mandible, up to your cheekbones, known as the zygomatic arches. Placing your hands here, get the patient to clench their teeth and you'll easily feel those masseter muscles contract and relax. You can try that on yourself. So just pop your hands there and clench your jaw and you'll feel those masseter muscles working. The next muscles are the temporalis muscles and they are of course on the temporal region on the side of your head and they've got a broad expanse over the side of the head. Once again, ask them to clench their teeth. You should feel contraction in that region on the side of the head. So you can do that on yourself. Feel the muscles tightening up there and that's your temporalis muscle or muscles. Now the pterygoids are deeper inside the joint. To actually get to the pterygoids you need to go up inside your mouth to feel right back on the other side, the inner side of the TMJ. So straight away it's not that nice to do because you've got to get your thumb right up into your mouth there. Some people say that it can be very relieving if with TMJ pain, but what I find and what patients tell me is usually a bit awkward, but it's also immediately uncomfortable because it's quite a sensitive area to be pressing around. You're unlikely to damage anything there, but if you do get your thumb up on the inner side of the TMJ, pressing on those pterygoids may be an option to try and release the tension. The masseter muscles, to massage those, Firstly, locate them by following the joint line, asking the patient to gently clench their teeth and relax so you know where the muscles are. You can start by just pressing in and gently kneading around that area. How's that feel? Sore, sore on one side? On the right side. Right side, okay. My patient's told me it's sore on the right side, so in that case, I'm just gonna focus on the left side for now. Then I'm gonna try a different technique. I'm going to hook my fingers below the joint line, apply some pressure in to get some purchase over the muscle, and then pull the soft tissue up towards the joint line. I'm watching my patient's face, they're not finding that very comfortable, particularly on that right side from what they've told me. So I'll reduce the pressure on the right side. How's that feel? Okay. okay. And I'll move up to tighten up a little bit more. How's that feeling? A bit more. Now I'm going to hold it there and I'm going to ask you to gently open your mouth. Good. As you do that, I'll just drag the soft tissue up a little bit further and relax. Good. Mobilize. Massaging that soft tissue gently. Applying some tension, pulling the soft tissue up superiorly towards the cheekbones and then asking the patient to open their mouth. So we've got this active release technique for those masseter muscles. How does that feel when you do the movement? Um, it feels good. It okay. feels better relieving. Okay, so I'm going to do that again. Apply the pressure, drag the soft tissue up towards the cheekbones. As the patient opens their mouth, I just gently let the skin slide underneath my fingers so I'm not locking the soft tissue in too much and I'm gliding up towards the cheekbones as the patient opens their mouth. When we get up to the temporalis muscles, the technique for those is much more simple. You can just go in with your fingertips and massage around the area. There's really nothing special about this. The area should not be as tender because you're not working directly over the TMJ joint. And whether you use your fingertips or more the flat pads of your hands, that should just feel therapeutic and be relaxing for the patient and it's not difficult for you to do as a therapist. So we've just covered the chewing muscles, 
those muscles of mastication, but they are not the only ones which have an influence over jaw pain and tension. A lot of patients with TMJ issues will also tell you about neck pain and symptoms within the neck that they're experiencing. So by reducing tension in and around the neck, you can also help to offload pain and tension from the jaw. Firstly, the upper trapezius. So with the patient sitting, just get them to slightly nod their head forwards and I'll get the camera to go and have a closer look around the back here in just a second. Apply some pressure over the upper trapezius and then move down over the upper traps with a simple, slow, medium pressure technique. To focus on one side, support the head and move down like so. Now the other muscle which is often involved with TMJ issues is the sternocleidomastoid, usually referred to as the SCM. So doing something to reduce tension in that muscle can help to alleviate the symptoms of jaw pain and stiffness. Now that is a smaller muscle in a fairly delicate area, so you may just be running over it with your thumb with a low level of pressure, or depending on the size of your hand and the patient's neck, you may be able to use the back of your hand to come down behind the ear and then down over the SCM with some gentle pressure like so. So for the final part of the massage treatment, I'm applying some pressure at the top of the neck and the base of the head into this suboccipital region here. I'm going to hold this for about one minute and I'm looking to try and reduce muscle tone and sensitivity in the suboccipital muscles, which once again can be linked to neck pain, which can be linked to jaw pain and tension. See our neck treatment playlist on the channel for some other neck treatments that you may find helpful, including techniques for the scalene muscles of the neck as well. Now, of the techniques we've just done, there is a way that you can show patients how to do this themselves. So right now we're gonna show you how to do a self-massage technique for the muscles around the TMJ. Then you're gonna take the, this part of your palm, that's your thenar eminence at the bottom of your thumb, that nice pad there, and you're gonna place that over the back angles of your jaw so that it comes up just in front of your ears. And when it does that, it should feel like when we did the massage, as you're pressing up over the muscles, okay? So you can do that a few times, that feels nice, because that's a self-massage over your masseter muscles, those jaw muscles there. What you can also do is bring it up just in front of your ears or just to that point and then do the mouth opening. So you've got that active release technique as you're massaging up, pulling the soft tissue and then opening the jaw. Place your hands over your temporalis region there. Let a bit of the weight of your head apply some soft tissue drag and then just mobilize around. That's it, a little bit higher just on the hat. That's it, mobilize around there. And that's a good self-massage routine for your TMJ muscles. Super easy to do and you just use the weight of your head to get the stretch. Correcting posture can also help to reduce neck strain and tension around the jaw. So by straightening up the thoracic spine, we bring the head back on top of the body and improve the position of the neck and reduce the tension on the neck muscles. To do that, we can use a simple piece of kinesiology tape here. I've got a piece of rock tape. I'm gonna go ahead and place that over the base of the neck, run that down with a moderate degree of tension. When the patient starts to slump, the tape will gently pull on the skin and act as a reminder for them to straighten up. In addition to posture taping, exercises that help to stretch and extend the thoracic spine can also be helpful, such as popping your hands behind your head and extending back to extend through the thoracic spine. Prone extension exercises like this can also help to activate those thoracic extensor muscles and improve the posture around the upper back and neck. Some professionals may be able to mobilize the TMJ joint by grabbing a hold of the jaw, the mandible like so, and then the joint can be mobilized forward and back side to side and also pulled down 
with a gapping action that pulls the joint down and gaps the joint. Remember this video is just for general advice and if you do have TMJ issues, then you should start by seeking the help of a professional. Physiotherapists, chiropractors, osteopaths, and of course dentists may be able to offer specialist assessment and advice for TMJ issues. The jaw can also be mobilized from outside the mouth by gliding the mandible from side to side. Stress is a common cause of tension around the neck and the jaw. It may not be easy to reduce your stress, however, breathing exercises are a great way to start. When you're stressed, the breathing is often rapid and shallow, and you tend to use more of the upper respiratory muscles rather than using your diaphragm to perform abdominal breathing, which you should do when you're breathing in a relaxed state. So to help with the breathing, let's start by lying our patient in a comfortable and relaxed position. If they can, breathing through their nose because that helps humidify the air and slow the breathing down. And then place one hand over your upper abdomen, the diaphragm, and one hand over the chest, over the, the sternum area. During relaxed breathing, movement of the chest should be minimal. The chest shouldn't really move with relaxed breathing. If it is, it indicates a less than ideal breathing pattern called a paradoxical breathing pattern and the patient should be guided or retrained to relax the abdominal area and allow a natural expansion of the abdomen during inhalation and a relaxed depression of the abdomen during exhalation and to minimize any movement and tension in the chest. The first part is just becoming aware of what part of the chest and abdomen is moving. Once you become more aware, it's easier to correct the movement pattern. It's not about deep breaths though. Don't think it's about taking a <gasps> deep breath in. That might actually perpetuate the problem. It's about relaxed breathing and slowing the breathing down. It's more important to slow the breathing down than it is to take a deep breath, particularly the out breath. So take a normal breath in, allowing a natural expansion of the abdomen, and then breathe out slowly through your nose. And if you can, try and prolong the out breath and don't rush it. Take your time, be in a relaxing environment, maybe put on some relaxing music or something, but just taking a moment to focus on your breathing can reduce your stress, improve your breathing pattern and reduce tension around your neck and therefore tension around the jaw as well. Teeth grinding at night is known as bruxism and this has also been linked to TMJ disorders. So simply using some mouth guards can be an effective way of reducing or managing TMJ disorders by reducing the impact of the nocturnal teeth grinding. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please let us know in the comments and consider sharing it with anybody who you think may also find it helpful.